Hey guys, it's Britt, and eventually I'll get around to changing up this background a little bit, but today is not that day. So, I have some thoughts to share with you about a book that I read recently. It's an ebook, and it is The Wretched of Mirrorwood by Jeff Wheeler. Uh, Jeff Wheeler is in the Kindle Daily Deals almost every single month, uh, which is what inspired me to initially pick up. Uh, the Wretched of Mirrorwood because it was like a dollar ninety nine and I wanted to get more into indie authors and the premise sounded appealing to me. So basically, uh, The Wretched of Mirrorwood, the premise is this young girl named Leah gets assigned to guard this badly wounded man and a, a series of events leads them to kind of go off on a, a bit of an adventure together. Um, initially, I thought that Leah was very, very immature and um, not very likable. And until I went back and read uh, a little bit before initially doing this review, just as a refresher for basic plot points, uh, I realized that, that Leah is not the typical age of a YA protagonist. She's actually 13 years old, which, um, which would explain a lot of her immature actions. Not that 13-year-olds can't be mature, because this girl is certainly very wise, beyond her years, but that, that that's, I think it's, it's a little bit rare to see a protagonist and follow a protagonist that young. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I'm just reading the wrong YA fantasies, but that, that stood out to me. And, um, what I really, really, <clears throat> excuse me, what I really, really loved about this series was you not know, was the world building and the magic system. Uh, the magic system is um, kind of like the Force in Star Wars. Only this isn't a sci-fi novel. It's it takes place in a fantasy world called Mirwood, and. Uh, they call it, I, I'm blanking on what it's called right now, but I'm sure I will remember it as time goes on, and I will blurt it out in the middle of the video. So, um, it's called The Wretched of Mirwood, and what a wretched is, is uh, a servant, um, not a slave, a servant, and it's kind of like this world's equivalent to being a bastard in Westeros, where um, being a wretched isn't necessarily a good thing. It's very low on the totem pole. Um, last names when you're a wretched aren't typical last names. It is what your your job is. So Leah's last name is Leah, and then her last name is Cook. And I just remembered what the magic system is called. It's it's called the medium, and like I said, it's it's kind of like the the force. It's it's uh, an unseen magic. It's it's interesting. There seems to be some interactions with uh, doorways, and it was, overall, it was a fun read. Um, I enjoyed it enough to pick up the rest of the books in the series, as well as the spin-off series. Um, as for technical writing, it's certainly not the best that I've ever seen. But I don't think that that necessarily hindered my overall enjoyment of this series. 
And considering that this was indie, and you could you could tell that uh, he really put a lot of effort behind this book and this world. It was it was very good. Maybe not up there on a traditional publishing level, writing wise, but sometimes sometimes when you're traditionally published, that does not necessarily mean that it will be a well written novel because I have read a lot of traditional published works that are way worse than uh, Jeff Wheeler's writing style and overall prose. Um, but yeah, it was a very quick read for me. I also picked up the audiobook. Um, I would switch back and forth between the audiobook and the ebook. Uh, sometimes I would do both. It has the whisper sync. But it, it was good. Um, I almost preferred it towards the end when I was finishing up this book. I did read it um, without the audiobook narration, and I found that my own inner voice for the main character uh, was very different from the audiobook's narrator, some of the mannerisms just um, didn't make sense to me when I was listening. But um, once once I turned the audiobook off, that kind of didn't hinder me anymore, and I thought that was interesting. And it's not that the audiobook narrator wasn't good, it, it just... it was very obviously an adult trying to read a uh, a 13 year old and while that can certainly be done uh, I don't think that th the narrator in particular really understood how to do that and uh, with the older characters she seemed to work fine um, the the narrator personally read Leah as a more um, her interpretation was a lot more angry while I read Leah a lot of Leah's inner monologue as well as her dialogue as more of a quick witted snappy type of person, not necessarily, excuse me, not necessarily angry. But yeah, those are my thoughts, and uh, until next time guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.